What's up guys, another board here with more World of Tanks, just about daily subscriber replays. This video was sent to me, a replay sent to me by Zipotro and Ducky. Well, Zipotro, but Ducky's in his platoon here. I don't know why he's not moving, there he goes. Prokhorovka. Oh my god, I got it right on the first try. First time ever on this channel. <laughs> you act like I haven't been playing World of Tanks ever, and this wasn't one of the original maps. But, you guessed it. I have played this game for three years, and I've just now got this map pronunciation correct for the first time ever on the first try. So, we got Ducky driving the KV-2. I need to get that tank back. That is a sweet... That's a, just a fun tank to play. Zapotra says, nah, I'm going to go up this front, this line right here and do some scouting. At least I think that's what he was saying in chat. So anyway, again, Season 6 coming up next week. Send in all your Russian replays, dgnetsubmissions at gmail.com. German replays, we don't care. What are you doing, Zapotro? Don't just drive over trees. People can see the trees fall. <laughs> don't do that. Type 58, jacked in the face. Oh, that's just trading damage right there. That's just trading damage. Not good, man. Not good. Type 58 doing the same thing, though. He's scouting. Ducky, I'm not sure he's going to be able to get in a good position there. Here comes some arty fire. That's nice. But not a hit. So let's see if we can get him in the turret. No, it hits the dirt. Damn. Oh, also, uh, these are still 9.1 replays. <laughs> I have seriously have so many replays coming in. It's not funny. So it's going to be kind of nice to get some 9.2 replays. Um, that one bounced. Um reinstall the mod pack so I can I want to get rid of the engine sounds I know a lot of people complain about them I don't really like them either um, I've never found an engine sound pack I actually liked that one bounced come on Zapotro this first part's pretty crappy actually but pretty normal bouncing a lot but there we go so some support damage gotta get this scout out of there bro for some reason, though, he can't seem to hit the cupola. Kind of surprised people on the 1-2 haven't been nailing him. I guess because he's behind them, the berm there. So, Zapotro having a pretty normal average game so far. He's shot, like, I would say at least six times and only penned once. Hey, look at my FPS, though. 48. Not bad. Or is it 36? Pretty sure it's 48, but... So there he is again. Oh, he gets a nice hit on him that time. And he spots a super perch. Not sure if that's the guys on the ridge up there on the on the zero line or if that was uh, Zapotro. I guess you'd be able to check in the uh, details at the end of the video here. So again, whoa, gets super lucky. Already doesn't hit him right there. That would have hurt so bad. That probably would have been like, he might have died. Those are some pretty big arties. At least that... Uh, 40-43 is. Anyway. And he shoots right into the turret of the super, which, nah, why'd you do that? I'm not really sure why he did that. It's just gonna get soaked in, sucked into the black hole. You know better, man. Mmm. Wicked Countess on RD. Nice. Hope she's actually a real female player. I like see. I like girls playing video games. I think it's kind of cool. The funny thing is, though, I don't know. Well, maybe that's a good space trucker article. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna write that down. That would be a good space trucker article. So he's trying to spot again. No dice. Does not get the spot. Does not get the spot, and that's the wrong thing. There should be two tanks here. I'm not really sure what's going on. Oh, there we go. Now, okay, there's a super perch. Is that? Yes, it is. It's in the back. He gets a nice hit on him right there. Okay, I got it in there. And here we go. JP and JP2 sitting right out in the open. Great targets for um, Zipotro right here. Again, he's having a pretty regular game, I'd say. Nice hit into the JP2. That's going to help him for XP because that's one uh, tier higher than himself. This is really kind of risky right here. Kind of risky. 
Again, having a fairly normal game. What he wants to do, though, I think, and don't take out all the buildings, that's your cover, man, is try to get spots on those guys so that when they get hit from, from the uh, zero line over there off the uh, off the hill, he'll get uh, XP and credits for that. Man, see? Oh, the 304 must be over there in the corner. See? If we stop it, if we... Hello? If we stop it, we can see that... Yep, he's over there. See the line on the minimap? He's... Wow! How? Why is he over there? He's over there on the hill. or I think he's down here. That is weird. Let's give him the camera control back here. Ah, oh, yeah, I clicked on the wrong thing. Okay. So, again, fairly average game still. I don't... Yeah, that's not gonna work, bro. Let's fast forward it to the good part. So he's having a fairly average game. He realizes that this is not a good position to be in. It's just not a good position. He's trying to get shots. And he takes out the JP2. Alright, so let's get into the part where it gets good. So this is a normal game. But what he's about to do is really what separates the men from the boys. Okay, he's getting... Okay, that guy's dead. This is great and everything. But we got a lot of uh, bad guys over there. Wicked Countess is saying, please spot. There's the IS-3. And another IS-3. Ferdinand. Okay, so there's three tanks there now. Okay. Alright, let's get to it again. Come on. Alright, now this is where it gets good. He makes the decision to get behind these guys. Now, this is kind of dangerous, especially when you got a couple TDs still uh, right over here. Right? You got a couple TDs there. They spot you, they're going to jack you up. And I don't think he has six, six cents. I haven't heard it go off. There it is. He gets hit by the uh, 30, 30 2 But if you keep going and you have a little bit of hit points to soak up the one or two shots or whatever it is, what are you doing? Keep going. You had momentum. No, keep going. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, so they're down one tank. But now, Zapotro is behind them. Ducky's over there, uh, covering base right there, it looks like. There's the IS-3 moving into cap. Where's the Ferd? He's going. He's like, where's the Ferd, man? Where's the IS-3? Where's the Ferd? There's the Ferd. There we go. Side shots. Let's do this. And 184, he's going to take a few shots to get this guy out of the game. And, oh, you're getting hit by the JP. Wrong direction. One direction. <laughs> Wrong direction. Keep going, bro. Bro. No, it's not happening. So he's going to go back. Oh, there's the Hellcat. This is the part I really wanted. This is why I wanted to show you this. So the Hellcat gets a nice hit on him. Boom. Boom. He gets himself killed. The Hellcat gets himself killed. Isn't that awesome? <laughs> he tracks him, but he gets himself killed. He almost kills Zapotro, but he just barrels into him. I don't know what he was doing. Zapotro gets a nice hit on him, and then he dies. That's <laughs> so awesome. What a moron. So Zapotro is just about dead. And we got... And, oh, it's not looking good. They're, they're getting capped. Ducky must not be hitting very hard. Ice 3 almost dead. Ice 3... Oh, both of the Ice 3s are almost dead. That's good. Let's see if we can sneak up and get a shot on the Ice 3. Nope. Right into the black hole. That spaced armor. And boom! He kills him! Takes him out of the game! Nice. This is looking a lot better now. Oh, it evens out again. 304 takes out the Type 58. This should be an... Oh my god, here's that 32! 302! And it bounces. Oh, he's shooting gold now. No wonder he got a shot on that uh, IS-3. And here it is again. This guy's coming right at him. He's getting nailed. And he just can't get enough damage. He got one hit point left! One hit point! One hit point left! This guy was almost at full health. He only had like... Oh my god! You just got taken out. By a guy who had like 70 health when you met up with him. He just did 850, well, the total 851 damage. I think he's, no, he, he never had a hit on him before. He just did 851 damage to this guy. I can't believe it. Wow, you're horrible. So enemy team, oh, no, it's evened out again. IS-3, here comes some gold. Nope, when it's right, goes right into the black hole. There's the third. Now we're down to AP rounds. And boom! Ducky takes out the third. 
Notice how the sound of kind of like an art artillery shell because the KV-2, um, I'm not sure about all variants, but one of the variants was it was a uh, artillery piece. So we got Tiger P and IS-3 still, and he's, and we've got oh there we go. <laughs> Zipotro takes out the other IS-3. You're dead. Um. Well, we had two heavy tanks and two arties, but not anymore. There's the Tiger P up on the hill. Ducky moving away from Cap now. I think they pretty much got this in the bag, but we'll see. We're going to fast forward this a tiny bit just because he's just kind of sitting here. There's the Tiger P. The Tiger P gets killed. Everybody's kind of moving up. This is a good idea. Everybody moving in at the same time. This is why. Everybody move in at the same time. Now, Zapotro's kind of hanging back because he's got one hit point. That makes sense. Anybody who rams him or breathes on him, it's going to kill him. But notice, Zapotro has one hit point, and his gun and his tank and everything is still in the game, just like nothing has happened. That's the part where, in a sense, World of Tanks should be, I think, a little more realistic. If you give up that much, that many hit points, you should you should be pretty much crippled. People say, well, that wouldn't be fun. You would just die off one shot. Well, you know, don't get shot. <laughs> but, again, that would make a camp fest. So, I don't know. I guess it can go both ways. So, looking for that last arty right here. Some people are capping. Somebody's mad. I don't know. Check out the feed there. There's the 43. And boom! Tag teamed. Zapotro, five kills. Ducky, two kills. Nice game, guys. Uh, not perfect, again, like I was saying. Pretty interesting, though. A couple of interesting things happened there in the middle or toward the end. And uh, the enemy team, again, should have had that game. I don't, I don't know why they lost that game. Um, the guys on the 1-2 should have stuck together and, and one 2 punched people in the face is what they should have done. Anyway, uh, again, Season 6 coming up. Send your Russian replays to dgnetsubmissions at gmail.com, and I will see you guys later. Stay frosty.